uh, you've asked me uh, what, what started M Club. Well, yeah, a few years ago I was with a, with another club and uh, there was a bunch of guys and we all had M cars so we thought it would be nice if we had a smaller group uh, and we could go off and drive our cars and, and do our thing. So uh, what transpired was um, I gathered a few guys together and we created a, a, an entity called uh, M Car Master which we thought, okay, that'll do for now. And we, we had a few events and before you know it we had uh, Guys like Mike Tran in New South Wales and Gary Redlick in Victoria. Lots of success. Work was getting around that we do really high quality events. Um, and we're in an independent uh, club, so we, uh, we sort of stripped out all the things that people don't want in a, in a car club, and we've kept all the things that people love. This week has been huge, and a, just a quick review, and I won't take more than a couple of minutes to do it, but last Saturday, right, three Don't of you. us left Brisbane, Don't and you. one of them didn't. I did leave Saturday! I did! And the three that left, we bolted like greyhounds. We were gone. And next bit, this call comes through. At, well, actually, we called him from the McDonald's at our midpoint at, at quarter past four, and we were rolling at half past four. And the guy's never late, usually. Where are you? I'm still asleep. <laughs> Where, are you? Where are you? I'm at the meet point and we're rolling in 15 minutes. And he lives an hour and a half north of Brisbane. He says, I'll catch you. I said, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> and as we proceeded through the day and we got further south into New South Wales, and this big wall of weather came through, right? The water came down and it came across the roads and the three cars, we battled our way through the water like true intrepid <laughs> interstate warriors. <laughs> we will get there. Right? And, and then we thought to ourselves, Goulet's behind us two and a half hours. This road's going to be closed by the time he gets here because you know, the orange people were starting to appear. Now, the signs were starting to go on. <laughs> right. So I got out my roadmap and 
You there, Mark? Yeah, mate, where are you? I said, where are you? And he said, oh, I'm in Dubbo, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, turn left at Dubbo instead of turning right. You need to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, then we got, then we got, in, we got into uh, a super effort by Mark. We get into Narendra at 11.30, and of course, just a step back, Mark's had all the attention. Quang's crew had left at lunchtime, and the race was on. Queenslanders versus New South Wales. <laughs> Who was going to get to the <laughs> <Randra> first? <laughs> Queenslanders! <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes is two minutes. <laughs> we were pushing. We were pushing. We were looking at the watch. We were going. We were going. We were going. We were Bye, bye. <laughs> no, I just stopped for a toilet stop. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a caravan. <laughs> Next day, obviously out of bed early and on our way to Victoria, we had to meet Gary's crew. All right, so off we go across the plains and all the rest of it. We come into Victoria, it was all fantastic. Quang got some excellent footage, uh, footage going across the bridge into Victoria, and we get to Uyen, right, and we're the cars are assembled. Fantastic. We've got this great yeah. uh, meet point and all the rest yeah, of it. That was great. And someone crossed the double line. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do we say, do not overtake on the double line? <laughs> no, <Victimized>. no. <laughs> the guy's a trouble magnet. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> So that was lunchtime in Uyghur in Northern Victoria. And one of the greatest moments in our club the history God, occurred. That's a bit crazy. <laughs> one of the greatest moments in our club history occurred about an hour and a half later when we all got to the border and an incredible thing occurred where the South Australians, including Scott from WA, right, <laughs> let's drive out. Scott, solid. The guys are insane. They drove into Victoria to drag us back into South Australia. <laughs> and of course, Frank Catch at the moment as we um, at, at, at the silos there at the morning, which was just just beautiful. I, I climbed up and it was, it was actually I quite, almost stayed as Chris there, as Chris would say, it was quite emotional. Very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Very emotional. <laughs> Very emotional. <laughs> And of course, I know you're only on one flight of stairs though. Yeah, so once, once, once Lucas was out the front, right, we were gone. Our, our average speed went from the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> there's not there's on camera. Straight through to some something other than the speed limit. <laughs> average. This is John, Johnny Watkins would say. This is going global. <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Young. Yeah, we're a duffel bag. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I think all of us appreciate how much effort and energy goes into not only running the state events and, and, and what all of us as leaders in, uh, in the state put, putting the events on through the year, but it wouldn't be anything without the vision of the great man himself and, 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 what he's, uh, and the community that he's created. I think what we have is... Yeah, look at the vision. It's such a picture. <laughs> And I think we have something really unique here. I think a lot of us have been involved in many different clubs. Um, we're involved in, in different groups. And the events that we have, I mean, I go to a lot of great events, but this is the one thing I look forward to every year. It's, it's, and I think all of us appreciate what you've done for the community, for us, you're changing lives, and you're making the world a better place. So on behalf of all of us, we just want to say thank you. There's a few goodies in here for you. And um, I think uh, all of us, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you. Oh. Pinnacle Award in our club is the Tom Gentle Memorial Award, and I've asked our previous winners if they can come up. Um, and Gordon Yan, who won this award last year, will present it to our 2017 winner. Uh, and if the other two guys, Gary and Crank, could come up as well. So the um, Tom Gentle Memorial Award winner for this year. I hope everybody approves of this. Is David Lucas? Yeah! This uh, week has been the longest month of my life. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been my pleasure. Um, from all, I know um, 
from all the South Australian crew, uh, we've spoken about things and, uh, you know, I'm really happy how the week's, I hope you, you guys are happy, but I'm happy how the week's panned out. Um, you know, it, I, I, under no illusion how much uh, it takes to, uh, to leave, up, uh, come on holidays and get away and uh, most of us here are smart enough to come away without our wives at times. No, it's hard to leave the line and do all that sort of stuff and I really appreciate it. Um, it's, uh, it's an honour, mate. I don't know how much uh, uh, he meant to you and I, I really appreciate um, you know, the award and I'll uh, look forward to giving it to someone else next year. Oh, thank you. Thanks, thanks for all these guys. Yeah.